Hello, Miles Maida here with more Modern Yoga Movement videos for you. In this series, we are looking at the traditional practice of prostrations and how we can incorporate them into our yoga practice through sun salutations. Traditionally, when we practice sun salutations, you're facing the sun, the rising sun. So you're facing east, the back is facing west. And if you wanna try practicing that way, it can reinforce the intentions that we have when we do prostrations. If you have not seen the first video on how to do traditional Tibetan prostrations, please watch that first. In this sequence, we are going to be practicing the movements first, and it will be a combination of different kinds of sun salutations. And then we'll talk about including the intention of prostrations. So let us begin with sun salutations. So let's stand up and we're going to face east. Standing with our feet together, equal standing pose or mountain pose. We bring the hands together. So we're just going over the physical movements. Drop your arms and on the inhale, you sweep your arms up and look up. Bring your hands together and on the exhale, bring your hands down the center of the body and do a forward bend, hands on the floor, head down. It's okay to bend the knee slightly. Half forward bend, inhale, lengthening your spine and your back. And then hands on the floor, bend the knees. On the exhale, we step or walk back into plank pose. Inhale, nice strong plank position. And on the exhale, we're gonna lower the knees. Then do a triceps push up, lowering to the chest and the chin. This is, this is called Ashtanga Pranam. And the pelvis is off of the floor. Then we slide forward into Cobra, inhale. And you can use your knees, downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale here, exhale, bend the knees, look forward. You can walk or step up to the hands. Half forward bend, inhale. Full forward bend, exhale. And then bringing the hands back together in prayer position, we inhale, reaching back up. And exhale, ending with the hands at the heart. All right, so now we're going to add the element of prostrations. So once again, we're standing with our feet together and hands at the heart. In this standing posture, we connect with this higher spiritual power or presence. So this can be the Buddha field or merit field. It can be God, it can be our higher self. And then we think of what we want to offer that we identify with. So it can be our successes, our failures, the things that we love, things that we hate, all things that we can identify with, that makes us who we are, we offer those things by sweeping the arms up and offering it to the merit field or Buddha field, if you like. And we receive the blessings so that we can experience wholeness in the body, speech, and mind, clearing any doubt, and coming into our forward bend. Half forward bend, and then coming into plank. Nice strong plank here. And then here's where we lower the knees, the chest and the chin. And you can think of those five points. This is a posture to help us to not get lost in when we experience negative emotions. Cobra and downward facing dog. And 
then bend our knees, look forward, and walk or step up to the hands, half forward bend, and full forward bend. Bring your hands together, and we'll come up, and then bring the hands back to the heart, feeling whole, feeling transformed. And we'll do that two more times. So once again, visualizing our higher spiritual power and make our offering. So releasing and letting go what we are attached to or even what we have aversions towards. And we make space and we can experience wholeness in the body, the speech, and the speech relates to our energy and the mind, clearing away any doubt. Inhale, half forward bend, and exhale, plank. Inhale here, and lowering the knees, the chest, and the chin, closing the doors to the five negative emotions. Inhale, cobra and downward facing dog. Of course, you can stay in downward dog and feel that you're in this position where your head is lower than the heart. So we're submitting our individual ego to our higher power. And you can think of that in the heart, the compassionate, loving heart, and then bend the knees, look forward, and half forward bend, inhale, full forward bend, exhale, bringing the hands together, coming back up, and feeling the result of our intention, of our practice, and a third time, once again, connecting with the merit field and offering all of the things that we are, all the things that we hold near and dear to us. And in this newly created space, we receive or we can experience wholeness in the body, speech and mind, clearing away any doubt that the mind might have that this has actually occurred flat back, and plank. Inhaling here, and closing the doors to anger, neediness, greediness, ignorance, jealousy, and ego pride. Inhale, cobra, and downward facing dog. So you can stay here up to five breaths and then bend the knees, half forward bend, inhale, full forward bend, exhale, and inhale, coming up, feeling fresh and renewed and giving ourselves the opportunity to experience wholeness experience the quality of yoga. And that completes this practice.